This is a video demonstration for the AirVac DRS 24C. We're going to start with once around the machine so you can see it. Right there you see the foot switch that comes with it. We're going to try to get a, a view of the serial tag here, but it's kind of tucked away. Hopefully that comes through. On top here is the tooling that comes with the machine. That is the IR temperature probe, double diffusers, and let's start the process. Mr. Foistel is going to help us through right, a rework we're cycle. Going to do a run process. Program has already been loaded. It's establishing uh, communications with the motion. Now it's uh, click start button to begin. That's this button in the lower right. It's just homing the, the Z, bringing the nozzle down. Now it started the heat and airflow for the diffusers. We've got them set at 150, and since we already had this running, it's pretty close to its set point. This is the actual temperatures here. Okay. We're going to press the foot switch to turn the vacuum on to the nozzle. There you can hear the vacuum turned on for the nozzle. We're going to place the 44 pin field CC on the nozzle. Center it up. I'm going to press the foot switch. Next thing it's going to do is it's going to bring out the vision cube. It's going to turn on the lighting. For the video, we're going to go ahead and turn the camera on so you can see the alignment process, which is down here. So here you can see the bottom is the table. So on the screen you can see the table moving. Got it. The other one is obviously the part. So we're going to get it close. We're going to rotate the part. And we're going to fine tune the table. And there it's, li it's lined up ready for uh, rework. So we're going to lock the table. Close this. We've aligned it, locked it, so we're going to hit the foot switch. It's going to take the vision cube away. It's asking us to flux the site. We're not going to do that, so we'll hit the foot switch. Now it's turned on the heat for the nozzle. So the nozzle is set at 175. It kicked up the convection on the diffusers to high. Temperature came up on those. Now you'll see the nozzle heating up to its set point. It does this for about another 10 seconds. Now it's fair to say this is a demonstration program, not uh... Yeah, these are not reflow temperatures. Okay. So it's continuing its preheat cycle. This number here, the green, that's the IR sensor. And you can see that that's been slowly climbing as it's as the board's been heating. See, it started it started out at room temperature, which was about 20. Now it's up to 47. This particular program, they wanted it to get up to 65, but obviously, since we've lowered the temperatures, it won't. It's continuing to ramp the nozzle temp and board temp. Now it's going to do. Uh, it's going to lower the part down to the board. It goes into another heat step.
The numbered countdown in the lower left hand corner? Event time, yes. Gotcha. That's just how it was programmed in this particular they we continued to you know, normally you would see the profile continuing to look more like a solder profile. Now it's gonna do a force placement. So it's gonna bring the part down to the board in increments. There it's starting right now. This is the force feedback up here on the screen. We've got it set at 100 grams of force placement. So the blue needle is actual, the yellow needle is what's in the program, and then once it hits its placement force, then it stops. Where should I be looking at at this point? Right now it's just going through another, it would actually be reflowing the solder at this point. And then after this, it will go into a cool down stage. It'll go into a, a cool down stage. It'll do this for, I've got it programmed just for 15 seconds and then it will raise the nozzle back up. And then it should say process complete. So it's the simulated uh, reflow process reattach. Okay, that is our demonstration. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.